Hey y'all, welcome to Tamara's Lunchbox, where we eat, talk, and have a good time. Get you right. There we go. How are you? Welcome to Tamara's Lunchbox, Tuesday edition. It's uh, um, been a busy morning. Get myself together. I'm all out of sorts. I have the right one today. Yesterday, I don't know if I even showed it because I had that donut, but I brought, uh, when, uh, well, let me get to the story. Anyway, I have a recess. We'll get to the story on the rest of it. But yesterday, if I showed it, which I can't remember if I did, it was Santa's. And the package looked the same. It was just, instead of it being a tree shape, it was a Santa shape. Y'all, I opened up that Santa. Uh, it was thinner. Thinner and about like this pitiful. And I was like, what? That's not, and I didn't care for it. They're too, the peanut butter to chocolate ratio is off. So, don't, uh, don't waste your time. Okay. Let's get to lunch. Then I'll get to uh, the story of, yeah, how I ended up with those. Okay. Sausage balls. You ever had sausage balls? They're good. I like them. They're easy. Typically have them as an appetizer. But I was like, you know what I hadn't had in a while? Sausage balls. So, I made some sausage balls. Is your Tuesday going good? Well, it's been pretty good. She's been busy. But I had two good meetings. So, can't complain. And I got here a few minutes earlier than what I do. Not too bad, but a few minutes earlier to... Uh, so I could get my work done or, you know, get started on it before I had the first meeting. And then I had an hour break between the first meeting and the second meeting. So I got some more work done then. Finished up my reports and all that. So I was good to go when I got done with this one. And that one, the second one ran over just a little bit. So when I got back, I answered a few emails that I had. And I was like, I got to get some lunch. I got to warm up my sausage balls. That's what I did. Anyway, so how I ended up with the Reese's, Reese's, not Reese's, Reese's, Santa Claus, is y'all, y'all know I have a list. You know I make lists about everything. Okay, well, guess what didn't make my list? My Walmart pickup. Mm-hmm. I put things in my cart that no trouble. And typically to get a Saturday morning time that we want, um, I put it in, if I have enough, I put it, I'll do it on Wednesday afternoon. Sometimes I don't quite have enough because you have to have $30, I think. I don't have $30 yet. Depending on how my week's going. So, I, uh, I'll do it Thursday. Well, and if I, I have forgot to do it on Thursdays, and I do it first thing Friday morning, no big deal. Still get the time on Saturday that I want. 
Well, didn't submit it. Didn't think nothing of it. Kept adding crap to it. So, we were sitting at Luke's swim meet <coughs> Friday afternoon, Friday night, evening. It started at 5.45, so not too late. We're just sitting there. I'm watching everything. At 6.30? 6.30, range? It was before 7. It hits me. Oh, no. I pull it up. The earliest they had was 11 a.m. on Saturday. Well, there were stuff I needed before 11 a.m. on Saturday. So, we had to go into the store to do the shopping. And I didn't have a whole lot, but it's like I've told y'all before. I just don't care nothing about going in that store. And I have already stopped buying certain items from Food Line. I mean, Walmart, and I buy them at Food Line. But there's just some things, Walmart, you're not going to beat Walmart's price. So I'm like, oh no, we have to go to inside the store. So. We decided to go early enough that we should beat the crowd. And we did. No big deal. We're basically in and out. And because we didn't have a whole lot to buy, the self-checkout wasn't that bad. So it was fine. But I did. I just completely forgot about it. Just didn't submit it. I don't know why. I just didn't. Well, I do know why. It wasn't on my list. That's why I make lists. And, you know, Thursday and Friday, I was off work. I was out of my routine. So, didn't get done. But it was okay. But so anyway, my point to all that, I tell you, was we went in the store. Well, I was going to buy a pack of the Reese's Treats. Nowhere to be found. So I was like, well, so I found the Santas. Now I see why they had a whole box. Nobody else likes them either. And I don't understand why. I don't understand why. Apparently, they have a mold to do the Santa. So, why are they not made as thick as the trees? It would make more sense. But, and they weren't crispy or anything like that. It wasn't, you know, that kind of thin. But they just weren't, the ratio was just off. So, I threw, I ate one and I threw one in my, um, uh, candy bowl dish and when I got home I told Brian I was like I don't like them um he he ate one and he was like that's not bad but he loves anything peanut butter chocolate so he didn't and it was sweet so he didn't care it just didn't didn't work for me so Anyway, but <clears throat> have y'all ever made sausage balls before? They're really easy. My mama makes them better than I do, though. But it's just, um, Sausage. I use Jimmy Dean. Um, 
it's a sausage roll. Then um, Bisquick and shredded cheese. And you mix them all together and bake them in the oven. Pretty simple. I don't do all the cream cheese and all that stuff. I've had it that way before. Not that I made them. Someone else made them, but I just didn't care for it. So. But. Maybe they didn't know how to make them. Oh, that was ugly. I shouldn't have said that. <laughs> and one thing I was going to tell you. <clears throat> yesterday I had a conversation with someone. And they were talking about somebody else. I was listening. Because, you know, sometimes people just have to get things out. You know, they just have to say it out loud. And for whatever reason, I tend to be one of those people they like to tell it to. <laughs> I guess it's because they know I'm not going to go tell it to anybody else. You know, there's a trust there's some trust there so they don't, they feel comfortable, I guess. And, like I said, you know, I don't, I don't mind. I just listen. But, anyway. What they were talking about, you know. And I heard this a long time ago, but, you know, people are in your life or may come into your life. They come in for a reason. So which a reason means it's quick. In and out, in and out, they're gone. Okay? You may not even have time to know their name. Right? That's what your reason is. It's a short relationship. And then you have people that come in for a season. Now, seasons on a calendar year last three months. But that's not, the season could last three months. The season could last a year. It could last several years. You don't have any idea how long the season's going to be. Nor do you know. And the third is a lifetime. Now that's pretty, pretty obvious. That means a very long time that person's in your life. Well, you know, she got talking about that and everything and how people change <clears throat> and I said, yeah, they do. I mean, people get, I know I've changed and I think it's part of growing up. I think it's part of getting older. It's just, you know, there's some things that 20 year old Tamara put up with. 42 year old Tamara, I'm not having it. I'm not, I'm, I'm just not, I'm not wasting energy on it anymore, you know? So I think it's just one of those things that you get older, you, and you've heard that before where <laughs> you get older, your patience is gone. And yeah, I wasn't, uh, I didn't have an abundance of patience to begin with, but I can tell my patience is gone. Not gone, gone, but it's less than what I had. Let's put it that way. But when you figure out what a person's meant to be in your life, a reason, a season, a lifetime, it's different. People that are for a reason, you don't go to a lot of detail with them. You may not even know, like I said, you may not even know their name. And then you may know their name. It may go on, the reason may be long enough that you do know their name. But you don't know details. Not a lot of them. 
And depending on how or when, why this person come to your into your life, you don't need to know because they're not there to stay. You know, they're just not. Your seasoned people, I think, is where people get more confused on. And the reason I say that is because the seasons can last. See, a season is not your in and out. This person, this could be somebody you date. This could be a co-worker. This could be uh, a family member. I mean, it, it could come down to being a family member. But they have a cutoff time. They, that relationship has an end time. You just don't know it when it starts. And, but it can last. It can last years. So when things last for years, especially if you're around that person, it's not just a phone call kind of thing. It's not a, I see you on the holidays kind of, no. I'm talking about somebody that, you know, I, I guess I should say she considered them a friend. Well, that's a little different because friends can still come and go. Some friends, you will keep a lifetime. To me, those kind of people are very rare to stay in close contact with a friend, okay? And I mean a friend as in somebody that is there for you, they know, they, it, it, you know what I'm trying to say. Well, and in her case, she just kind of said, yeah, they just, they don't treat me the same. They don't, they don't talk to me like they did. Well, oh, well, yeah. Now, I don't know if something happened. I don't, I didn't ask. I didn't feel like it's none of my business. But I told her, I said, could very easily be the season's over. If you know you didn't do anything wrong, there wasn't some big blow up, some big argument, just, you know, that, that you know that, okay, this is the reason. It just sort of happens. It very easily could be where it's just time. The season is over. Now, I'm not going to say that doesn't hurt, you know, because it you maybe you weren't quite ready for the relationship to be over. You weren't ready for the season to end. You may not be ready, but it's time for them to go. They're, they, they're not there to go the rest of your journey, I should say. You know, if the relationship feels forced, you feel like you're bothering someone by talking to them. You feel like, well, if I go talk to them, they don't, they don't really talk back. They, you know, or they're short with me, or they said they were going to show up and they didn't show up, or, you know, you're disappointed. You know, I mean, that's the only way I can really say it is you're disappointed. So if that's happening a lot, I'm not going to say everybody's perfect. I mean, they're not. And relationships are not perfect. I mean, it's, it's give or take. And that goes for every relationship you have. But if it's continuing to be that way, and it just feels forced on your part, or you feel like, yeah, I'm, and that's what she says, I just feel like I'm bothering her. Okay, well, I mean, I get it, you know. And we've all been there. We've all, you, you can go back over your life and, and think of someone or multiple people that you feel like I had to make them talk to me. If you're having to do that, that it, it's over. And it, it causes, it just causes more hurt and pain, I think. And you end up, you just gotta let them go because what they were there for has been accomplished. So the season's over and it's time to move on. And I know that's hard. I know it feels like, well, it, it, it is basically a breakup. If it comes down to it, it's basically a breakup. And you have to mourn the breakup just like any other breakup. If it's a relationship, it, it, it doesn't matter who it's with. If it's over, you have to mourn it and move on. Because if you don't mourn it, you don't grieve it, and go through the steps, it still it sits there and just flusters and it just bothers you. Like, why, why don't she talk to me? Why, why is she doing that? Why is she doing that? Why is she over here talking? What did I do? What did, you know. Your time was over. 
you know, and it's just, and it just happens. It's not this thing of blaming yourself or anything like that. That's what I told her. So blame yourself for that. You know, you know in your heart you didn't do anything wrong. Don't blame yourself. And if you feel like, okay, well, this is where I went wrong. This is what I did. Then apologize for it. If you're that upset about it, apologize. I mean it. I have a heartfelt apology. And if that doesn't, still doesn't work, and it, okay, well, there's nothing you can do. Okay, it's done. Just, you got to move on and just let it be. But your lifetime people, they ain't going nowhere. They accept you for every flaw you have. Everything that annoys them, that you do. They're just there. They're not going anywhere. You know, it's one of them things, you're stuck with me kind of thing, you know, but... Knowing where people fall in those categories will help you out a lot. And I'm not saying don't, you know, don't try and fix relationships that could be fixed. Or, that's not what I'm saying. I mean, don't just use that as say, well, you must be gone. I'm not going to work on that. That's not what I'm saying. But after you've tried to work on it, if it's still, it's, it's a forced, and you know what I mean by forced. It doesn't just flow and happen. And just let it go. You will find a lot of peace by doing that. Because when you're trying to keep somebody around that's not meant to be around anymore, you don't have any peace. You're going to find yourself sad more often than you are happy. At least with that person. Because it's just, they weren't meant to be there any longer. I probably should have ate that last one, but it's okay. But I just wanted you to be encouraged. Don't don't get down and depressed about relationships that aren't working out or, you know. <clears throat> just be the best you can be. Be the best person you can be. And do the right thing. Make good choices. <laughs> and seriously, just be the best person that you can be. And if others don't accept you for that or... You know, they're just not meant to be around. And that's okay, too. You have other people that are. And you got to focus on the ones that are meant to be in your life. Okay? All right, y'all. I hope this wasn't too doom or gloom. I didn't mean for it to be. I just, it's just kind of on my heart. So, just want to talk about it. So, I've kept you long enough. Another 20-minute video. And I'm sorry about that. But, we had things to discuss. All right, thank you for joining me for Tamara's Lunchbox. I hope you enjoy the rest of your Tuesday, and I will see you back here tomorrow. Same bat channel, same bat time. Isn't that right? <laughs> I'll see you then. But until then, may the peace of the Lord be with you, and until I see you again, and take care. And I will see you tomorrow. Have a good day.